All right, um, and this next one. Now this one kind of looks a little different because now we have a radical as well. Now we have a radical in the numerator and we have a fraction. So now we ha we're going to have to apply both of our notes. Our radicand has to be greater than or equal to 0, and our denominator cannot equal 0. Right? You guys get that? So I all we're doing is combining them together now. So we're going to say x minus 3 has to be greater than or equal to 0, and 3x equals 0. Well, this one's rather simple to solve. x has to be greater than or equal to 3. And then here, this one's pretty easy to solve, too x equals 0. So as we go ahead and graph this, let's put 0 here. 0 is undefined, but then it says x has to be greater than or equal to 3. So guys, is 0 even defined for that function? No, so it's just like it's not defined there, but don't worry, it's not defined for the radical anyways. You can't even have 0 in here, because look at what happens if you put 0 under that radical. 0 minus 3 is negative 3, right? So 0 doesn't work for both of them, like anyways. So our domain is just going to be from 3 to infinity. All right. Now, um, what I wanted to add to you is there's a lot of different variations on this problem. 